Hello world, this is What's Up 2190 and today I'm going to be showing you how to use your Mac OS X computer as a whole Wi-Fi network. I mean, this can, with this, you can not only um, share your internet connection, but you can also share CDs over a network, you can share um, files over a network, you can share um, all sorts of printers over a network and all sorts of different things. So what you're going to want to do is open up system preferences then you want to click sharing and I should warn you that um, the layout of things here might be a bit different if your computer is running an older version of OS X. My laptop is running Mac OS X 10.8.3 Mountain Lion so yeah. So the first thing I'm going to I'm not going to totally explain all of these. Um, I just don't want this video to be like 15 minutes long, so I'm going to try to just give a brief explanation of this. Basically, CD or DVD sharing is um, it lets other people on your network access the uh, data that's uh, access the CD that's in your Mac CD-ROM drive. So basically, um, if they want to. Um, watch a movie that's inserted that's in your DVD drive and they can or access files that's on disk that's inserted in your DVD drive and they can but leave this piece of information right here screen sharing and uh, um, s screen sharing and Apple remote desktop are basically um, Apps that let you that let other people on your network control your screen. So I'm going to show you the file sharing one. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the screen sharing one. Um, basically, it if you turn it on, it, um, it's. They can access your computer and start controlling your computer by putting this web this address right here in their um, URL bar in their web browser, or just by looking for your computer name in the Finder. And you can set a password to your computer so that they have to ask your permission. And yeah, if you go right here, you can uh, ask you can set it so that they have to ask you to control your computer. And that, or and or that they put in a password. So, yeah. File sharing lets you send files to other computers over a wireless network. It lets you select what files you can select what files other computers on your network can access, and stuff like that. Printer sharing is pretty cool. Like basically, what that does is you have a printer that's connected to your computer computer over a wire, and uh, you don't have a wireless box. You can basically um, t use your computer to mirror that printer wirelessly, so that other computers in your house can connect to the printer wirelessly through your computer. If you don't, so that's nice. If you don't have a wireless router for your printer, let's turn it on. So I'll show you around and uh, turn it on, click open print and scan preferences, show this printer on the network. And yeah, it will let you 
it will show you what printers are available to your computer to mirror and um, you can select what printers you want other computers on the network to be able to access via your computer anyway and scanning sharing is basically just the same thing except for it's for scanners Remote login is basically like um, it lets you it lets users log in to your username on a network under SSH. So like basically, if they what they do is they can make an encrypted connection to your computer over a wireless network, and um, they can use SSH to be browsing and seeing the computer under your username and uh, stuff like that. Remote Apple Events, it allows you to, um, allows other computers to send you Apple news. Internet sharing, which is probably, I think, the coolest one, is a, uh, it basically allows you to, if so, if you have two um, mirror an internet connection so like let's say if you have a one if like if you're in a hotel or in your house or whatever and you only have one internet connection no wireless modem no just one wired connection into one compu Mac computer and you want to mirror that connection wirelessly out to other computers but you don't have a modem uh, basically what you would do is you would you would turn this on Select this one. It has to be turned off for you to set it up. Sorry. Basically, you would select Ethernet, then, then one of this one to computer mirroring Wi-Fi. You um, just select Wi-Fi. You can also mirror it to devices using Bluetooth, FireWire, and basically every other type of internet connection. Um, basically, what's so like it'll you can set a network name, and uh, um, and uh, yeah, your network name is basically like the wireless network, like the network that your airport connects to when you connect to wireless internet. Basically, channel is is what channel is is Wi-Fi networks use the Wi-Fi channels to separate signals so that way signals don't get scrambled scrambled up in the network. And secure, and you can put a WEP or WPA2 password on it if you want. I should let you know that Mac OS X Mountain Lion, you can only put WPA2, and uh, some devices aren't compatible with that. So, yeah. You can also share, an, share from Wi Fi to Bluetooth, Bluetooth to Wi Fi and just check all these out and a bluetooth sharing is pretty self-explanatory um, you can send, send basically enables you to send bluetooth files to other bluetooth enabled devices over a network and yeah I might not have explained some things too clearly because like I was trying to get through all of this this without the video being like super super long so, like, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment or send me a message. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought I'd make this for people who are staying in hotels, people ha who had wired internet, stuff like that. Anyway, this is WhatsApp2190, and I am signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.